Good evening, I'm Tom Trump. And I'm Natalie Shepard. Karen is off tonight. Well, more headaches tonight on Bourbon Street, just months after construction to upgrade pipes underneath the road was thought to be over. Crews are now tearing up the 100 block of Bourbon after a drainage line backed up into the bathroom of a store inside the Astacron Plaza. Paul Dudley joins us live now with more. Paul? Well, so here's how this all happened. A sewer pipe that was improperly connected to a drainage line underneath Bourbon, that line backed up, flooding the True Religion store right next door. The 100 block of Bourbon Street is a mess as crews tear up the road. According to the city, they were removing one of the concrete panels that make up the road and a 10-foot section of the sidewalk. The construction comes roughly five months after an infrastructure improvement project that was thought to be completed already. If you do it right the first time, why would you have to keep going over and over and over? This kind of problem is similar to other issues crews saw during the first phase of the project, but the city says these pipes were missed because they were believed to be out of use and didn't show up on official records. The work is only supposed to take a week, but area business owners like John Barrett, who manages the alibi, are skeptical. I've lived here all my life, and a week turns into two months. Never can be. It's never a week. During the original project, the bar got hit pretty hard, especially when it came to to-go orders. When they block off Bourbon Street, it blocks off Iberville, and we can't get to-go deliveries, which is a big percentage of our business. And Bourbon Street isn't the only road with closures. A portion of nearby Burgundy is also shut down for repairs. While many are frustrated, others understand the troubles that come with an old city. It's an old city. You can't fix everything all at once. As long as the city's doing something about it, that's the important thing. And to prevent uh, something like this uh, happening again, the city says that they uh, will inspect any pipes that are not on record uh, to make sure that they are not active. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to talk about numbers and tell you how much this is all going to cost. Until then, reporting live, Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. Paul, thank you. Today